Welcome back everybody. So today, um, yeah, I overslept. So I'm off work. Well, we need to get a couple things done. First thing we're gonna do is this is probably gonna be the last grass cutting of the season because like right now it is like 62 degrees outside and the grass is really long. So we need to get this cut. There's a spider web hanging off the side over there. Yeah, that thing's huge. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like it comes down like this. this, this thing. Don't see no spider on it, but whatever. So last grass cutting of the season. Um, so we're gonna get that cut. Then we're gonna go ahead, get the lawnmower cleaned up, get it washed off, get it prepped, get it put away, get the battery out so it's charged for next season need to get this cleaned <sighs> we're probably gonna get another car out we're gonna get we're probably gonna go ahead and bring the Silverado out and get that out <sighs> okay I got interrupted by my phone going off but hey grass is all cut I think it's like yeah, it's a little better <clears throat> grass is all cut that's not clean because well that's all my cleaning stuff up there <clears throat> and I'm out of soap so yeah I don't think we're gonna be um, washing the car um, one thing we're definitely gonna move the truck so let me take my glove off so everything got moved up to the front right here cut the grass and all that kind of stuff um, but when I move the truck, all of this was underneath the passenger front tire. Don't know what in the world this is. It's just like hard plastic stuff. So we gotta get the truck around front in the driveway, get it jacked up <clears throat> and see if there's something underneath the right front that blew apart. So, let me go ahead, get the lawnmower clean, then we're gonna get that truck around front. Okay, got everything done. We've got the truck around front now. Got it jacked up. So I can try to see um, anything underneath this thing. Oh. Well, besides lots of cobwebs. I mean, I don't see, like, where anything's missing. I mean, like, you know, there's the rubber for that, the rubber for that, the rubber for that, or for that. Like, maybe, you know, the rubber got hard on it, because some of this is, you know, like, this tie rod's brand new, the shock's brand new, you know, sway bar links are new, spindle's new, but some of the bushings are older. You know, like, that bushing up there is still there. I can see through here that that one's still in. But it was like right in this area, like right underneath the wheel. And, you know, like the wheel has no play. I mean, like, I can't see nothing underneath here that is, like, missing. <sighs> Same thing up top, up top. You can see, like, the rubber from the control arms. that there's that that one looks a little offset okay that one's offset too okay but I mean like I don't see anything that's like missing big old hunks of chunk of rubber or anything like that so I have no clue whether it just You know, 
something just miraculously appeared under there. Something came off of this truck. I mean, I have no clue. I can't see anything. So we're just going to just say that, oh, I know, we're just going to say, eh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, Got to get this thing cleaned up. We're going to, that's another reason why it's around front. Like, you know, the cobwebs are underneath there. The motor compartment, I mean, it's filthy dirty. So we've got to get this thing scrubbed and cleaned up. But what I'm going to start doing is I need to start working on some of this bodywork. Like you can see right here. I cleaned it up, but it, I did a crappy job of primering over it, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, didn't use good primer either. So we're going to go ahead and start working on this. Is I want to go ahead and get this section right here done. I mean, you can see where it's starting to rust underneath the primer. So we need to go ahead and get some sanding paper out and go over this thing and try to get this thing cleaned up a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead, dig some parts of stuff out and get this thing sanded down some, get it primed up a little bit. Because I'm not trying to have this thing fall hard. We're not going to do like a major amount. Because like I said, we're going to start on the bodywork. Right now, I want to go ahead and clean up. Like I'm going to say right here. We're going to get all of this done right now. And then later on, we're going to start working on to getting into the door because I don't have enough sandpaper, all that kind of stuff. We're going to have to get to this dent right here. There's a couple little things in the hood, nothing major. There's nothing here. There's a rough spot there. Um, yeah, underneath this tail light right here. I'm not saying it's a big dent, but it's kind of a big dent. So we got to... We gotta start working on this truck. So let me go ahead, get the sanding stuff out, get the hose out, and let's go ahead and get some body work done on this thing. Cause I love this truck and I don't need it falling apart on me. So let's start cleaning it up some.
so I have it all, you know, sanded up. Got rid of the, there was a rust spot there, there was a rust spot there. There's a couple little rusty pinholes. Now again, I'm no bodywork person. This is just like right here, what I started was just basically scuffing the surface down and all that kind of stuff. That, later on, we're gonna start getting into the full body work and all that kind of stuff. So. Do a couple light coats. Plus, I think, you know, plus a lot of this body work and a lot of this stuff that I've done on here has been quite a few years. So it's time to like really get into this and really start knocking this out. All right, get that first top coat on there, let that tack up for a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and start laying a couple more coats on. So we'll wind up probably hitting about two or three coats on this and see how it looks. Okay, so there we go. Looks a lot better. Because before, when I didn't did that, I didn't even mask that off. I just like threw primer on it, I think. It's probably the same way on the other side. No, this one's actually masked off. That one's masked off. The other side, I know I didn't mask off. It was just like... I mean, if you really pay attention to the beginning, it was just a blob of paint on there. So, yeah. That's all done. Looks a lot better. The little bit of rust that was on there. Good. All that looks nice and smooth and down and good. So, much better. Because that's what I am going to be doing. Is we're going to slowly get into the body work on this thing. First, we're going to start off with some of the just the cosmetic stuff that I have already done. We're going to have to sand down some of this on the fender right here because of where I rolled the fenders. Of course, you know, this old paint chipped the paint all up. This one right here doesn't look bad. There's no rust poking through. So that just probably needs to be gone over, resprayed. Oh, let's see what else, what else, what else we got? This door, see some rust there, some rust there. There's some rust around the fender. There's a little dent right here, a little dent right there. I mean, like, the overall of this thing, it's not bad for being as old as it is. There is a couple dents. I mean, you got this big dent right here. Um, this one right here is one of the first ones that I'm going to try to do because it's not very deep so that one is going to be an easy one to like glaze over right there when I do the hood and start sanding it down because you know there is rust spots on it so but like the majority of this like I mean this thing is just scratched up I don't know if you can see but this thing has scratches all over it but like dents and all there's you know one big one there big one there big there there's a big one right here where I like when I rolled the fender this fender buckled and it buckled in so there's a huge dent right here but that's my fault all the other stuff on here was here when I got this truck this one it's nice all right well like I said, I wanted to get the truck back out and I wanted to go and see what that issue was. Don't see nothing. So, 
then we need to get start back on the body work on this thing because like i said this is i love this truck everybody's like you know everybody's like the forever car this uh, this is my forever truck i love this truck that much so i need to get it back out i need to keep care of it a lot better than what i do so i mean yes it's slow yes it's kind of slight custom but i still use it as a truck so it's got to be both worlds it's got to look good it's got to be low and it's still got to do truck stuff so we need to keep it in good condition keep it up in running order all that kind of stuff so we're going to be working on this for a little while trying to get some of this stuff tidied up all that kind of stuff and we have a car show that we're going to in a little bit with this so i gotta clean it up detail it make it look a little presentable so stay tuned for that all right i guess we're just gonna wrap this video up got some stuff done around here got to get motivated got to get back into the grind especially on working on these cars i haven't worked really much on the car lately a little bit of a slump well let's get back on it catch you on the next one